That's a big lizard. Throw some along this left side up here on these trees. There's, is that one there? No, the wind is making a little impression, but there's fish, some fish moving out of here. Snook on fly, you think we can do it? Well, basically, Blair, these, these fish are coming down the shoreline, kind of cruising from tree to tree. Some of these open pockets, you can kind of cut them off. I'm feeling like Joe Cocker up here with a fly rod right now, though. It's been a while. Just kind of keep throwing along these trees, and you might see a couple floating or sliding through there. Should we blind cast it There's up? Some there? blind casting, but we should see some too. Yeah, throw it over there, dude. Dude, the whole school snook is snooked. Either blew out or. One race down the shoreline that I never saw. There he is. Fish on. Snook. Uh huh. A little bit of him, Blair. Nice. Like I said, this is one thing I don't do much. Ah, and that's doing well. Snook on the fly. That's pretty sweet. Not the great big Moganos we're looking for, but heck, any, any fish when you can catch it on a fly rod is pretty darn good. Let me get this one under control here, and I'm going to tell you guys where we're at. Got him. All right, nice little snooky. We're fishing down in the Chukaluski area today. We're fishing with Captain Kevin Mihailov. Snook is the target today, and we're doing it on the fly rod, otherwise known what I like to call the buggy whips. Y'all stay tuned to this episode of Addictive Fishing down here in Chukaluski, and it's warm finally. Let's go then. There you come. Good fish, good fish, stick him, stick him. Got him, buddy, got him. Good got fish, good fish, fish Larry. Fish. Sometimes when you come in here, the water's really clean, and sometimes you come in here and it's really dark. Today, it's really dark from all the wind we had this week. Sucking all the water out of the Everglades. Yeah, blew really hard, and I think we can, this, that's why the fish are eating. Do you find in the wintertime you're downsizing too for the size of the bait? A lot of times, the water's the cleanest in the wintertime and the coldest, and the fish just aren't quite as aggressive as they are in the warmer months. It really pays sometimes to go to a, a tiny fly Hey, hey, front of the boat, front of the boat, big wake, big wake. Yeah, nice. Go ahead and strip that. I lost the fish, but there was a huge push right there. He's on it. Strip, 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 strip. Little strips. Strip, strip. Big fish. Just keep stripping. Keep stripping. Don't stop. Pause it. Oh my gosh. Throw back over there. He totally pushed hard up on your on your fly. Little strips, little strips. Trip, launch it. Trip, 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 trip. Oh, yeah, baby, come on. <laughs> I'm gonna give myself fly line burns on my fingers on that one. <laughs> oh, man, that other fish, he charged up on it, he gave it a long strip, and the fly got away from the fish, and then he lost it. Yeah, I don't know if y'all saw that or not, but there was a big weight came after this thing the first time. Yep. You just gotta keep hunting and pecking, hunting and pecking until that big one shows up. But eventually, we're gonna show you a Mogan today. Cloud covers come in, start off real sunny. So we'll go from dark fly to a, a white fly. I think the fish will see a little better. So you tie all your own flies? I do tie my own flies. A lot of times, you can't get the kind of fly you want store as far as the sink rate colors size there's always some sort of compromise it seems so i think tying your own is the only way to go back before i smashed a lot of bugs in my windshield i tied a lot <laughs> now i just don't have time to do it it's fun sometimes too you know come up with something and then the fish eat it you know that's why you can leave me about a half a dozen of those today <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 12 o'clock, Blair. Look at that. Oh, yeah. A little out of range. Let's try. Nice cast. There's there one. Is. There you go. Oh, Ooh, try again. Come off. Lay back in there again. Good. Strip that. 
All right, go back to the right where you caught that last fish. It was off, under the tree. Nice cat. See, I told you it gets better as the day goes on. Yeah. Getting loose. There he comes. Here comes. Oh, good fish, good fish. Stick him, stick him. Got him, buddy. Got him. Good got fish, him. good nice fish, Blair. Fish. That's his. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to slap y'all in the face. Get this fish, he's gonna jump. That's a good snook. Well, this one might just go into oh. the backing. Doing the tap dance. Pull right, pull right. The snook tap dance. I can see the fly, it's right in the corner of his mouth. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there we go. Uh, nice. Tap That's, like I say, you just keep picking off, picking off, picking off, and eventually you're gonna get that big one to eat. Oh, that was nice. He garbage that fly. <laughs> It almost looked like a redfish going after it. Oh yeah, baby. That's not a bad one there, Captain Kevin. Yeah, good fish. Way to work well, at it. Finally, look at him. He a snook. Got me into my backing. I'm not my backing anymore, but he was right there. Well, Kevin, I think it's gonna be my biggest snook on the fly. Shaking like a leaf, too. Got him. Ooh. How about that one, y'all? Garbaged it. Is that what you said? Yeah. He garbaged it. <laughs> Man, that's a nice one. Man, that is fun on a fly rod. We're going to break out the spinning rods a little bit later, but I'll tell you what, when you can catch them on a fly rod. It's good fish, Blair. It's good yeah. work. Good a lot call. of cats along that bank, caught a lot of small ones. A little white fly. Oh, man, one more time for the crowd up there. Yeah, nice fish. Man, that's nice. And if y'all want to go snooking, your website's what, snooking.com, right? Look him up because we've only been fishing a couple hours now and heck, we have caught some nice fish. Have caught some real nice fish. Look at him sucking on my thumb. I like tilting them up a little bit. Sometimes they act like a largemouth bass and jump. And off he goes, brother. That was awesome. That was awesome. That was good angle. Well, let's get set back up and do it again. And by the time we get set back up, we'll be ready to show you another one of them snook. Y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back with some more addictive fishing from Chuckalusky. Let's go then. This thing is a leviathan. A leviathan. Oh, look at that That fish. is a monster. We got here there captain kevin well we got this uh the shoreline here and there's been some big fish in here this co next cove up i saw three fish over 15 16 pounds and they just come down this shoreline with the incoming tide pretty windy cloudy can't see them we're just gonna have to throw plugs down the shoreline hopefully get a big bite so how you like the looks of that little miradine it's a great looking plug great flash in the water easy to cast Good hooks on it. I like that plug. Yeah, look at this, look at this. What do you got, son? You got a real one there, huh? I was wondering what White Chilura was doing. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Jack thinks. Oh, nice, snook. Holy Christ. What a snook. Go ahead, it's all yours. I got the trolling motor. What a snook. This is a monster. That oh my God. Goodness! That is a moose. Holy moly! Whoa! I think he just realized he's hooked. Jeez! Whoa. I'm gonna keep you off that bank. What? That one made that you take is... your hat and shades off? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a love. It's going down low. No! Ah. Where you at? Fish. Where do y'all see this one? God. Oh my goodness, this thing is a leviathan. A leviathan? Oh, look at that, that fish. That is a monster. Holy moly. Woo, man. Way to go. He's going down low again. Where's he going? Where's he going? Hold up, hold up, hold up.
I'll Look play. at that drag go. I'll play guide on that one. <laughs> <laughs> that is a nice fish. What do you got, 40? Yeah. 40 pound leader and you got about uh, 20 pound fins on there. I went tight on that drag too, so. That fish ate it. He's Before I even knew he was hooked, he was, he was 40 smoking. feet out towards the center of the bay. Look at the size of that fish. Come down here and help me land this gotcha. thing. This is a two-man job for sure. Oh, and it just wore through it. Did he? Look at him right there. Oh, God. That's fishing. Rig It Right by Wright and Miguel. On today's Rig It Right segment, I'm going to show you what Captain Kevin Mihailoff and I were out there using today. While he was pushing me up the shoreline this morning nice and early, I was throwing what I call the buggy whip. Of course, it's the fly rod made by Wright McGill, same guys that make my signature series rods, same guys that make the Mogan series rods you can get right here at Dick's. But uh, that's the fly rod I was throwing. It's an eight weight, has cigar fluorocarbon rig with, for, the, uh, for just a little bit of abrasion resistance for those snook. And uh, I promised Kevin I wouldn't show you that fly out there, but he ties his own and they work awesome. Then we broke out the brand new Miradine from Mirror Lure. And this little guy right here, I tell you what, it looks like a pilchard out there. It looks like a scaled sardine is what they're actually called. But it's one of Snook's favorite bait out there to eat. And you saw what I saw, which I think was the biggest Snook I've ever seen in the Everglades that Captain Kevin hooked with this. Using a seven foot, it's a medium action signature series, right, McGill? And I have it rigged with 40 pound leader on there, and I always start out with 40 pound when I'm going for snook, just for the abrasion and resistance. You're never hardly expected to hook a snook as big as we did, and he happened to wear through, but we moved up to 60 pound, and we cured the problem. But that, uh, that's your bait check for today. And remember one thing, every season starts right here at Dick's. Rig It Right by Wright and McGill. There's one here, there's gotta be another one. Search baits, it's kind of what I say in my seminars. These are great search baits to use. This is a, uh, and this one here is made by Mirror Lure and you can walk the dog with it underneath the water. It's one of the, uh, one of the neatest baits I've ever seen. I've always wanted a bait that can walk under the water as well as it does on top of the water and this one here will do it. I didn't think there was any way that fish was coming loose. Well, if he, there's he one went under the here, boat twice. He was fat too. That was so a big. that was a that fat was female. Oh, there he is! Here's, right here's there. Fish. That's another big one. Big snook. That's another nice one. Oh yeah, baby! Come on! Oh, big snook, Blair. Yes, sir. I'll take that one. Whoa! <laughs> oh no! Dang. God! You... God, to be kidding me! Oh, Lordy, what do you think? think? Take a break after that? That was two within 20, 30 yards here that have been over 20 pounds. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back. I got to get my nerves settled. Let's go then. Watch it. There I got yeah, we got a big snook. Got him. Big buddy. Nice. Well, Blair, as we work up the shoreline, there's a creek that comes out in the back and it kind of wraps around into this little corner, little pocket, and the fish like to just come out of that creek and just post up right there, wait for bait to come around that edge. And man, they should be there. Well, hopefully they'll be waiting for this little fly here. There's one in this pocket right here. Make a cast right there about 11 o'clock. He'll jump on it, a little closer. Try again, he's facing right. We got one, a bigger one, oh. drop it right there. Good. He's faced to the right. Play a little bit right, pick it up, try again. Good, hold right there. Okay, a little bit left, see him? He's going left a little, go left a little bit. See him? No, I no. don't. Right there, left, left, see a little, left about five feet. See him, his back? No, no, that's too far, go back where you were. Good, oh, strip, okay. strip, strip, okay, strip. Okay, little strips, little strips. Strip. You can't see it because of the mud. Oh, that looks good. 
Go ahead, strip, strip. Wait, wait, wait. Go ahead, strip, 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 strip. Drop it on his head, he's trying to eat it. He's looking, wait, here he comes. He just moved to the right, he stopped. Good, good, good. Strip, 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 Drop it, drop it, little strip. He's still trying to eat it. He comes here, he got, oh no! He spit it instantly, dude. All right, all right, he's still spinning around looking for the fly, he's, he's hot. I'm gonna back off a little bit. He's right there. Long strip. There yeah, we got it. Big snook, got him. Big buddy. Nice. Nice, Blair. Good fish. Nice fish. That'd be my biggest snook on a fly. Beautiful fish. He ate that nice. thing three times. That was right next to the boat. I hope y'all saw that. That was pretty killer. Keep the tension on him. Keep the tension on him. Come on, come on. He's got a big buddy over there, too. Does he? Yeah, maybe you'll be able to get a pair of them. Keep stripping, keep stripping. He's coming at the boat. Change the angles on him. Right under. Come on, baby. That's a nice snug. Nice snug. That's a beautiful fish. Nice. Nice. Oh. Nice job. I couldn't there. see where that fly was. Was it on the top of his lip? Yeah, it's cornered. We got the net there. We want to make sure I'll get landing right here. I'll help you out. I'm coming down. Coming on down? Yeah, I'm coming down. I'm gonna try to put him on the on the left side of the boat. Wherever you want. I'm, I'm here for you. Oh, oh the, Don't this, step uh, on the line, you're on the fly line. The ferrule separated. Uh-oh. That's all right. You wanna get that net and net him? I think not get it. Cause that might de-hook him right there. Pull that tip of the rod up. They're coming back. Pull right. Yeah. <laughs> what mayhem. Put that net together. I don't want to lose the tip of my fly rod. Yeah. All right. Oh, man. Woo! Look at the fly rod separated halfway through the fight. <laughs> Sometimes it happens with a multi piece rod. But I tell you what, that's worth it, baby! Now that is a way to catch a snook on a fly rod, baby. Woo! Oh, wow. <laughs> well done. What a beautiful fish. And we're only in like four, four and a half, five inches of mud. That's why we're able to pull through here with this boat. Um, this, this Phantom's got a real flat bottom on it, so it gets real, real shallow, but gets you in back with these. Awesome, awesome fish. Whew. Brother. That was awesome. Y'all want to come down here and do some snooking in the Everglades on the fly rod? Captain Kevin Mihailov. I tell you what, you're going to have a ball. You do spin, plug, fly. A little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. Y'all can come down here and catch a lot. I mean, it. Uh, I, I, I can't say anymore. It's just some awesome fishing down here. And the best times, you know, starting to fall after the first cold front comes through. And then up until it really starts heating up and the bugs get really, really bad down here. Then you just got to buy a lot of insect repellent. But uh, it is one awesome place. Dude, I thank you very much. Wow, welcome don't, back anytime. Don't forget about the website, addictivefishing.com. We'll see you next week. Check out more footage from this show by logging on to addictivefishing.com for outtakes and bloopers. Who's that giant? He thinks he's a largemouth bass. This thing is a leviathan. A leviathan? Oh, look at that, that fish. That is a monster. There he is. Fish on. Got him. Nice, Blair. What you doing, Blair? <laughs> Blooper. <laughs>